This is a quick introduction to multi-beam surveying using the WASP multi-beam sonar. Here we have some example information collected by Olex in Norway. Uh, there's several ways to look at the data you collect. You can have it as contours, uh, shaded relief, or you can colour it up by depth. And uh, here we have a profile across just to show you the, the three dimensions. Um, you can also look at the backscatter so that shows you the amount of energy returned by the sonar and gives you an idea of the, the hardness of the ground type you're going across um, and it lets you divide up the area into to different types you can see there down in the deep basin we've got soft sediments as you'd expect and across the ridge, uh, rocky ridge, it's uh, hard so it's like another layer that lets you examine what the, uh, what the acoustics are telling you so it's very useful you can also look at your information in three dimensions, so you can have a, a 3D camera and uh, look through it. This is a very simple way to navigate through the 3D scene that you've created. Uh, it can also be used to visualize the data as it comes in, in, uh, in real time. Here we have a speeded up version of an actual WASP survey. You can see the data is being built up underneath the vessel as it goes along, and the width of the data depends on the water depth. So with a 120 degree swath width uh, with the WASP sonar you're able to collect four times the actual water depth. Uh, so you can see here again we're visualizing the data coming in in three dimensions and you can see as we go down the slope the total swath width gets larger uh, and that allows you to map uh, much more quickly. So here's another example. We're starting off in 12 meters of water depth and the swath width is quite narrow. Uh, the data density is, is also greater. Um, so you have the same 112 beams spread over whatever swath area you are covering. Um, so you have greater data density in the shallow water, uh, but better coverage in the deeper water. There are other factors that affect system performance, but that will be covered in another video or have a look at the website.